What's up everybody? So I've had a lot of comments about doing some more reviews. So I wanted to pick up a machine and do another review for you all. So today I have the P5TS from Easy Tattoo Supply. So I'm going to do an unboxing and actually tattoo with this machine so I could review it for all of you. So obviously I just got it in today, haven't opened it up yet. So we will go through the unboxing. So first off we have our directions right here, which it is Bluetooth machine. I've never used a Bluetooth machine before, so sure I'm going to have to read these to figure it out. Go into the machine. So it has the name right up top right here. It says touchscreen. So I'm guessing that this is touchscreen area. And yeah, I'll uh, turn it on and see if it's charged. Okay, cool. So it looks like it's half charged. It has like this really crazy cyber looking display on it, which is kind of cool. It definitely looks futuristic for sure. Okay, so it has a foot pedal with it without a cord. So I'm guessing that's the Bluetooth about it. So Bluetooth to the foot switch. So to change the voltage, all you need to do is tap on the voltage on the screen right here and then just slide it up and down right like this. So I'm turning it up to about a nine volt. Okay. I will say that for a machine, I would rather have buttons, kind of like the display and touchscreen display can be a little bit hard, especially if you're wrapping up your machine. It might be a little bit confusing for you. You wouldn't be able to really see it. The display looks cool, but it's a little hard to see, especially if you're tattooing. I would just, you know, for me personally, I would just rather have um, some buttons on there that I could easily click and understand what I'm doing. It does have a timer on here which is really cool. It says the recharging time is 2.5 hours. Working time is approximately five hours. So, you know, smaller tattoos you would be able to do with this. Larger tattoos wouldn't necessarily recommending this machine because obviously you'd have to charge it for two hours in the middle of your tattoo, which wouldn't be beneficial. The battery capacity on here is going to be in dashes. So five bars in the middle right here is going to be 100%, four bars, 80%, three bars, 60%. So we're at 60% right now two bars 40, one bar 20. So the charging port is the USB-C. So, you know, all the new iPads, all of those things use the same charger, which is really nice. You're always gonna have one hanging around um, that you'd be able to use. So the push button, um, it has a strong start function on here. It says start, stop, built-in timer, which is right up here on the top. So it does have a timer if you're going by, you know, an hourly rate. I don't necessarily do that because my hourly rate is not when my machine is running, but the full time of the tattoo, you know, if they would like to take a break, you know, that time is included, not necessarily the time that my machine is on. Um, so if you're trying to, uh, you know, gauge how long a tattoo took, the timer is cool, but it's not necessarily something that, you know, would be a game changer for wanting to get a machine. Okay, so foot switch working mode. Make sure Bluetooth wireless foot switch is turned on. Swipe left or right on the foot switch working area. So you could do that to hook up your foot switch, which that's cool if you like foot switches. I'm, uh, you know, definitely an advocate for the wireless battery packs that just have the button on them. I could wrap everything up. So I haven't used a foot switch in a really, really long time. But if you're first starting out and, you know, have the kind of worry that your machine's on all the time and things like that, a foot switch will definitely help you out with that. It's just not something I use anymore. So now let's get into doing some lines with this machine. I'm gonna do some lines with it and try to do some shading and see how it goes. So first off, I'm gonna start out with a smaller size liner. This is a seven round liner, so I'm gonna try out with that and then we'll jump up to something a little bit harder like a 14. So if you're using this tattoo machine, even on fake skins, you still wanna wrap it up completely. Um, because this is a review, I want everyone to be able to see the you know, voltage gauge and everything going on with the machine, uh, which you wouldn't be able to see if I was wrapping it up. But anytime you are tattooing on fake skins or obviously live clients, you wanna make sure that you are wrapping these up completely so they would be safe for on clients. And another thing with this, this doesn't have a disposable grip um, because the way it's made, it would be really hard for them to make one with, you know, make the disposable grips with it. 
So this is a machine specifically made for fake skins. You don't want to use this on any clients or even yourself because it could cause problems with bloodborne pathogens and things like that. I'm gonna have to wrap this really tight because even with this tape on, it's still, still uh, slipping around a little bit. So we'll definitely watch that when we're tattooing. Okay, so we're gonna pull a couple of lines with the seven round liner and see what this machine can do. So it seems to have no problem at all with the seven round liner. It's putting the ink in there very easily. Just about the same as any other machine that I have would do, which seven round liners, seven and nines are just a really easy cartridge to start out with. You know, if you are first getting into tattooing, learning with a seven and a line is going to be the easiest method. Once you get into smaller liners, it can be a little bit tricky. You have to turn down your voltage and it's easy to cut up the skin. With thicker ones, it's harder to push into the skin, so it could be a little bit harder to be able to make a clean line. So now let's get into a 14 round liner and see what this machine could do. So I'm going to run it exactly like I would with any of my other machines, just to see if it has the same capability as, you know, like a Cheyenne Solnova or a Bishop Wand. Yeah, so it's able to put that ink into the fake skin fairly easily. It does sound like the machine is bogging down a little bit, which, you know, couldn't be, could be normal for a cartridge this size, you know, if the machine isn't set up for something that thick. So now I was able to do a seven and a 14. Let's get into some shaders that we have here. So we have a 15, which will be, you know, on the middle ground of a shader size. We'll see if this is able to do some shades with this, you know, obviously it's direct drive. Um, you're not going to have any give, so this will be a harder machine to be able to do something like realism and things like that. Traditional shading, you really shouldn't have an issue. Or also color packing. So we're just going to start here with some whip shading and then we'll do some pendulum shading right beside here. Yeah, so with it being direct drive, it very easily pushes that ink into the skin. Like I said, this will be a harder machine to be able to get really smooth, nice blends with because there is absolutely no give on it at all. But for color packing and doing traditional style stuff and also filling in solid black, this will be, you know, perfectly fine being able to do that. Let's go through here and see if we can make some smooth shading with just our black. Just doing some pendulum shading right here. So this is a 12 gauge needle. So it's definitely a lot harder to do some smooth shading with it. But you know, if you're doing a little bit of shading in some traditional work, this will be no issue at all being able to do that. Let's go through here and just pack some solid black to show you how easy it is to pack solid black with this machine. So you can see here that it's nice and saturated, no issues with being able to pack some solid black, which is, you know, what you would assume when getting a direct drive machine. All those have no issues with that. So let's jump onto something a little bit harder for the machine, which is going to be 25 curve mag standard. So this cartridge is fairly big. It's on the bigger side of, you know, the mags that you could get. So sometimes you'll have some issues with machines being able to push something like this and have it go into the skin as far. I don't feel like there's going to be any issues with this machine because it is direct drive, but let's try it out. Obviously you're going to get better transitions with a bigger mag. I definitely recommend that you use the biggest mag you possibly can that you're comfortable with per the tattoo that you're doing, just to make things a whole lot easier. You can see you can get way more smooth transitions with a bigger mag than you can with a smaller one. So no issues with that. It's able to push that into the fake skin. Let's try some pendulum shading. And let's try to fill in some solid black with this huge mag. And I'm going the hand, same hand speed and same voltage as I would with my Bishop. So the things that I know will work with that, I'm doing it exactly the same here to see if this machine could keep up. So with the same hand speed, you could see that with the solid black one, 
it did have a little bit of issue pushing in the needles the whole way right here you can see a little bit of light areas which didn't really happen with the small ones so my guess would be that this you know cartridge is just a little bit bigger and it was just having a little bit of an issue pushing it in as much as it normally would so with that being said let's check out the voltage that it could go down to you know if you're using really small liners or doing some stimple shading you need to be able to turn your voltage down really really low so let's see how low this machine will actually go so it goes down to five volts now i'm going to put in my seven round liner right here and just see if we could do some stimple shading on this voltage right here and it looks really really slow honestly the way the needles are going looks way slower than i've seen five volts on my other machines so with it saying five volts i definitely have used five volts on my other machines and i feel like this is more of about four volts or even three volts so i feel like the voltage name on the screen is a little bit off which is something to think about as well so i would definitely rather it be lower than higher you know you don't want to be thinking you're on five volts and it being you know on seven volts so that's one thing to think about whenever you are using this machine is the voltage might be a little off but you are able to turn it down low enough to do some stimple shading without any issues as you can see right here so so far it's a pretty well all around machine you know i was able to do seven round liner lines 14 round liner lines do some shading some stimple shading not really recommended for any like realism style or really smooth black and gray work because obviously there's going to be some issues with trying to get it as smooth as it needs to be so with that being said pros of this machine is obviously that it's wireless you know it would be very easy to wrap up biggest thing would be it's just going to be hard to be able to change the voltage and all of these things when it is wrapped up so that's something to think about and another little bit of a downside you know after running it on 12 volts it did get a little bit hot um, but that could be normal you know using something on 12 volts you don't really ever run anything on 12 volts when it comes to a tattoo machine just running it for that short amount of time I am down to one bar. So that would mean there's 20% battery life left. So without going through a full tattoo, I can't really speculate exactly how long this machine will last, but if it was at 50% and then in a matter of 10 minutes, drop down to about you know 20%, I feel like it might be a little less than five hours. So smaller tattoos, you'd be able to obviously tattoo a design with it but anything bigger um, I definitely recommend checking out something that has a little bit better more battery life or just having an RCA hookup and going with like the easy tattoo supply battery pack um, just because they do last quite a bit of time I've used it consistently and I do love that battery pack so this is the review for the P5 TS easy tattoo supply machine also if anyone else has anything else that they would like us to do a review on make sure you leave a comment down below so we can check it out for upcoming videos for you guys in the future again i hope this was able to help you out along your tattooing journey and you have a wonderful day